of those views of the Dutton Estuary. It's like paradise. And this place here, it really is called paradise. Believe it or not, I think it's straight up. Presumably because it's got such good views. So, can you see that? We've done 8.2 kilometres at Paradise, obviously. On the way to Broughton, camping. On the way to Broughton, camping. And whilst the day started up all right, warm and dry, I was in the shirt, thinking about putting sunglasses on. Then a bunch of uh, rain clouds caught up from us. So, waterproofs may pop it. But it's drying up again now, so we might soon uh, divest ourselves on those. Four kilometres, 12.4 kilometres, Kirby and Finesse. Just taking a slight detour because uh, pop it once a comfort break. We'll have a butty as well. 12.5 kilometres now. <sighs> the meal train in a minute. Oh. Phew. This is what the meal train looks like at Kirby. It's a kiddie trailer. Dovedale 300 tent this time, double line, proper tent. There it is. Yeah, so we started off at Aldi, shirt, like I was saying, cycling along. Before we got into Barrow, the clouds are bloody caught up with us, so we've been through a shower. Can you see in the distance there, on the Dudden Sands, there's brightening sky and, that, and the wind's coming this way, so that bright sky that brighter patch is going to follow us through, I'm hoping, blinking should be, there's that heat wave coming this week, <laughs> and that's it there. Yeah, no, we had a technical issue, pop it, see, we started off with uh, fleeces and stuff bungeed to the back rack, of course when it started draining, put the fleeces away, got the waterproofs out, and pop it left the bungee unhooked, i.e. just loose and dangling. So this is she's done this before. So cycling along and at some point the hook on the bungee dangles down, snags on a spoke and then goes round and round the blinking hub. This time until it blinking snapped and it went bang and I thought, crikey, what's that? So we've fished it out now of course, but in there sort of meshed a bit with her derailleur mechanism and, and this plastic this plastic shroud thing here it's bust some keeper pegs off it so we're pressing on to see how it goes but it's a shame it happened it was a technical issue that happened in the rain <laughs> so it got a bit in a, in a bit of a pickle <laughs>
yeah, so we both reset to zero before we set off the riders. And yet somehow Poppins is reading five kilometers more than mine, so I suppose I might have lost the buttons at some point when I was uh, scrabbling for a bit more EPF on the hill, having the trailer behind me. You know, when I was pressing the red bull button to get some more poke. So we've just come off uh, Rick's Causeway heading up to Moss Side Farm now. And uh, you know at Kirby I was saying there's a there's a, a drier spell coming on. That was fake news. It's been raining again. <laughs> Deary me. Where's Poppet? Can Poppet tell me what her myelometer says, please? Yes? How many kilometers? 24.1, mine says 19.4. So like I say, somehow I've got about five kilometers behind the pocket. The camera's live pocket, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I think I've inadvertently fluffed my buttons at some point. It's, uh... I think, uh, what did you say, what's it again? 24.1? It's 24.2 now. 24.2, that sounds more correct, I think, for the distance we've travelled. Be about 30 kilometres all in all to campsite, I reckon. Oh dear. Is it going to dry now? Who knows? Who knows? It's been a bit bleak, to be honest. Not the sort of uh, the day I thought it was going to be for cycling. But never mind, if we get our wet day over and done with today and it's dry all the rest of the week, that'll be okay as well, won't it? Yeah. Nice little lane, that's quiet out in the traffic. That's how we like it, don't we pop it? Oh, Carcum. 